Welcome to Threadhead TV, this is Jude Bell, and today we are inspired by this Michael Kors $300 pair of tennis shoes. Stay tuned while we turn this into a DIY. I am making my own bias ribbon, and the reason why I'm cutting this on the diagonal is because it will hug the tennis shoe around better than just ribbon wood. A ribbon not cut on the bias could leave you some gapping or bulging. your seams open and cut off any corners sticking out. I needed iron-on interfacing to give my cotton fabric more weight. It was a very flimsy, loose weave cotton fabric, so not all cotton fabrics would need this step of interfacing. Trim the seam down about a quarter of an inch away from the sewing line. Trimming is necessary in order to turn it right side out. If you're having trouble turning it right side out, then cut your strips first. I used a loop turner in order to get mine right side out, but you can also use a safety pin. Then iron. I wanted my seam on the back of my ribbon. The center portion of my ribbon I glued onto the shoe to adhere it with permanent fabric glue. And then I left the sides about an inch on each side open so that I would have room to tuck under the ends and sew them in. I also used fray check on the ends to keep them from fraying. Then I hand sewed the ends down using a blind stitch after tucking them up and under. Start and stop your knots for your thread on the top side of the shoe, hiding it under the ribbon so that the knot isn't on the inside of the shoe chafing the foot. I used a heavier duty thread. Mine was a quilting thread. You can see here how you need to tuck the side ends in as well as you sew. Fold your first bow layer in half to find the middle point and then match the ends to that midpoint, making sure they don't overlap. Overlapping ends on the center of the bow could produce a bow that is too thick in the middle, especially if you had to use interfacing like I did. Match center points on your two layers of bow and sew a square in the middle. I did not want to use a knot center to my bow because again it was just too thick, but certainly you can if you're using a thinner ribbon. So I wanted to wrap my center around as tightly as possible in the middle and sewing it as close to the bow as possible without catching the inside bow so that I could shift that seam to the middle of the back. End with the knot tied under the bow to hide the knot, but on top of the shoe so as not to feel the knot on the inside of the shoe. I tied the ends of the threads with a square knot of a Michael Kors meets Kate Spade mashup, don't you think? This is Threadhead TV. Thanks for watching. Come on back for more great projects.